Hello, let's work with something uh, fun. We will start with a simple circle. So you can draw a circle on your notebook. I suggest that you also pause this video as the, at this point and get a scissor, some strings, some papers and some glue or tape. Okay. All right. So assuming that you have got all those things, let's put a frame on the circle. So what does it mean when I say a frame on the circle? So basically what we will do is we will put some points, mark some points and segments. So these segments can be of course bent that totally covers the circle that covers or actually I should say covers the circumference so whenever I say circle understand that I am talking about the circumference all right uh, the there are certain uh, rules of course that we must follow the first rule is that we cannot we cannot so this is a string or a segment with two endpoints so these are the points the points or sometimes we call them vertices and this is the segment the segment which we will call edge and we are allowed to bend the edge of course this is circular so we have to bend the edge that's why I say that you should get some strings that you can bend and so on so the rule is this that every edge must have a unique name must have a unique name so we cannot have two edges named AB so this edge the name of this edge is AB of course it tells you what are the vertices of the edge uh, we do not allow AB and BA so we don't have because this can be also thought of BA right but for us AB and BA are the same thing so every edge must have a unique name so the edges that you are using to create the frame they all must have unique names the second thing is this you cannot cannot glue endpoints of the same edge so for example you cannot glue A with B of course you can bend it and then glue it but for our purpose we will not allow this to happen so we have to glue the only gluing the only gluing that we will allow is vertices which have uh, which are parts of different edges okay so how can we glue or frame uh, edges with vertices on this circumference I, I suggest that you pause the video once and give it a try before looking into the solution okay so assuming that you have done that let me give you the two wrong solutions that students often do two wrong solutions the first wrong solution is this that you take one single edge with two vertices and you glue the endpoints so you have like this so basically you have glued A and B and of course you get a circle but remember this is not allowed because we cannot glue the endpoints of the same edge so this is a wrong construction for our definitions the second one that students often do 
is they take two edges AB and BA. So I can actually write it like this. In, in other words, they take a circle, they mark two points on the circle, two vertices, and they say, okay, we have two edges now. One is like this, AB, and the other one is simply this one. BA. But realize that the green edge that we have, the green edge that we have, the name of that edge is AB or BA, whatever you prefer. And the red edge also has name AB or BA. But we do not allow that, right? We want all our edges to have unique names, different names. So certainly this is not a right answer as well. So by now you should be able to guess the right answer. So let's do that. We will take a circle and actually create three vertices first. Now this is the smallest number of uh, vertices and edges that you will be using. Uh, you may use four, five, six or as many vertices as you can, as you want, but um, they will all appear in the same technique. So basically you mark AC, then you mark CB, so you have three edges now. And finally you mark, uh, let's keep it white, AB. So the three, three vertices are A, B, C and the three edges are A, B, B, C, C, A. So imagine this like a frame on the circumference of this circle. Now what we will do is we will break the frame. We will break the frame and we will break it at these vertices. So AC will go like that. So if you are doing it like with, with strings, if you are doing the construction with strings, you should have three strings now. And finally, you will have this. Okay? But you have to then cleverly give names to the vertices of this string. So realize that A is divided into two or split into two points, sort of. The vertex A at the point, at that point, you have split the circle. So the, the same point A is, is sort of living in both of these edges. So you can give the names as A1 as the top one. So maybe I'll use white. A1 to the top one and A2 to the bottom one. Just to signify that they were both A's before we made the split. Similarly, we can do the same thing with C. So this is C1, this is C2 and finally the same thing with B. This is B1, this is B2. It doesn't matter which one is which provided uh, both of them are coming from B. So now what we have is we have three strings which together when properly glued will make up a circle. So for example, if you glue A1 with A A2, B1 with B2 and C1 with C2, you will get the circle back. So glue the strings. So if you glue the strings, 
properly, you will get the circle back. What we will do is we will glue the strings properly, but we will sort of tangle it. We will sort of tangle it. So let it let's do it do, do that. Uh, so first let's start with a1, a2. So we have a1 and we have a2. Now then we will use b1 and b2 uh, so actually a1 and b1 the string the, the endpoints of the string was a1 and b1 so let's let's get the names properly a1 and b1 all right the next thing we have is we want to glue b1 with b2 so let's look at B2 now. Um, B2 is here. B2 is with C2. So you can look in the picture. This is C2 and that's with B2. So let's do it like this. Okay. Something like this. So this is B2 and this is C2. And finally C2 and A1 which is somewhat like that. C2 and C1 and A2. C1 and A2. That's the last one. So what you have to do is you have to properly glue the endpoints A1 with A2, C1 with C2 and B1 with B2. But we, the way we did it is a little different from the actual circles. So the strings are actually tangled with each other and we get this beautiful structure which is called a knot. In fact, it has a special name. It's called a trefoil knot. So this particular structure came up in our pre-Olympiad uh, discussion. And um, later what we did is we converted a triply twisted Mobius band into this trefoil knot by sort of curving out the interior of that triply twisted Mobius band. So maybe in the next video uh, we will uh, show how that is done. Uh, in the meantime, this is a good physical exercise that you can do. Use papers or strings and glues and scissors to get this beautiful structure and uh, stay tuned. We will come back in the next video with something more exciting. Thank you.